I just think with the proper training, resources, equipment, I think I really have the potential to be an Olympic figure skater. I've only gone and caught the old winter Olympic fever. Bloody addictive, isn't it? I'm spending all day watching it. This morning, that's out the window. BBC News. Forget it, even they've forgotten about it. Nobody cares about what's going on in the world. The Olympics is happening. Somebody is coming down a big snowy mountain. Let's watch that. Forget Trump, snow. I'm not one to watch sport. I know it's hard to believe, given my athletic, active persona, but I couldn't really give a toss about sport normally. I don't really watch anything. Maybe I'll flick on a bit of Wimbledon if I'm in the right mood. I'm not one to sit down and watch football. I mean, I do kickboxing. Have I ever watched any boxing? Fuck no. I couldn't think of anything more boring, to be honest. <laughs> I know it's bad. I know it would help me if I watched it, but other people doing sport, I mean, it's hard enough to motivate myself to do it, let alone watch other people do it, because let's face it, it's boring. There's no character development, there's no plot. It's just people scoring things and hitting things and running around. I'd rather watch Poldark. <laughs> I didn't know Poldark was gonna come out of my mouth. I'd rather watch Sherlock, Hard Sun, Homeland. Am I gonna watch somebody running around a field? No, it's too long. But the Winter Olympics have changed my soul. I cannot get enough of it. Watching the Winter Olympics is making me so lazy. You know, normally I'm up and about, and I'm not. <laughs> normally I'm mildly productive. I'll do a bit of yoga in the morning. I'll have a go at something. But Winter Olympics is on. I'm not moving. I'm not budging. I'm right here on my sofa watching people being far more active than I'll ever be. They are superhumans. They are amazing. I'm inspired. I am hashtag inspired by the Winter Olympics. I got so caught up in this girl's story yesterday. There was some girl who like kept stacking it every Olympics. She's been stacking it, stacking it, stacking it. Elise Christie, she stacked it every Olympics. She's amazing, like she's really good at it, but she just had really bad luck at the Olympics. And she fell down again, but she got back up again, restarted, came second, smashed it. I was so proud. I was screaming, I was jumping up and down like, fucking yes, go on girl, fucking yes. Disqualified, disqualified. All I could see she did was she touched another girl's ass, brushed it accidentally but this other girl was barging right into her so the judges are just pricks the olympians amazing my favorite thing to watch is the figure skating because it is just beautiful you gotta admit i just look at the women they're tiny getting thrown about can spin around for about six hours and just carry on skating and not be dizzy at all the strength they have the poise they have the skill it's incredible and i just think i don't think i'm made of the same stuff i would struggle to rollerblade down my patio let alone do all that on the ice they're made of much better stronger fitter beautiful stuff i don't think i possess the the grace that they possess but never say never and i think i'm still an olympic hopeful curling curling i could do curling i could get on that curling team no bother i'm not saying that you don't have to be really good to do curling obviously you do it takes a lot of skill what i'm saying is with the right training i actually genuinely could probably be on the curling team well it's not as um you know glamorous <laughs> you don't have to be as I could do curling, couldn't I though? I think the reason the Winter Olympics is so much more interesting than any other sport, A, it's all quite short. They're snowboarding down a hill, that takes minutes. They're doing a little figure skating routine, two minutes tops. I can digest that. I think the other thing is that makes it more interesting than anything else, there's just an element of danger to every sport. Every sport you're like, oh, if this goes tits up, they could break their neck. I don't want them to break their necks. Obviously not, because they're all amazing and I love them all. But it does make it interesting though, doesn't it? A little bit of risk. And I think it's more risky than any other sport or the winter ones. They are often on a mountain, massive peak, ice, snow, dangerous. They tell you not to drive in those conditions, let alone go skiing in those conditions. So um, I've not got anything done, once again, because of the Winter Olympics. But you know, if I'm gonna be on this curling team and get a gold medal, I've got a clue up. I've got to watch it. It's almost like I'm active and I'm inspirational because I'm watching it and I'm a part of it. You know, they always say thanks to everybody for giving their support at home. That's me. You're welcome. You're welcome, Lizzie. We got that gold together. That's me. Bob slays on in a minute. See ya.